Welcome everyone, Questine here with a discussion about Star Wars Outlaws, which has recently been released by Ubisoft. And it has come, as per tradition, with a lot of PC games as of late, with a lot of graphical problems. Performance issues, just issues in general with the way the game looks, the way the game runs. Now, for what it's worth, these are fixable and you can, or seemingly fixable, and you can get a pretty solid experience. Though you might also struggle figuring out what the heck is wrong with this game and why am I getting texture pop-in issues. Like, for instance, I have a pretty high-end computer myself. So why exactly is this game struggling with loading textures in it? And it was very noticeable. Also, why is it that if I, say for instance, go into the menu over here, like for me this was happening, that the performance of the game would just completely evaporate. We can also talk about depth of field issues, like this is our depth of field or there's a weird bloom effect, glow effect, whatever that I would really like to disable. There's more to this, but I'll talk about that later. Let's talk about fixing the texture pop-in issue, because it is a problem. Someone found a fix, posted it on Reddit, have to give great credit to them, gonna link their Reddit post, but I'm just making this video to showcase that fix and how it works, what you need to do. It's actually fairly simple to implement. It's not really a problem. And you can actually prevent the game from correcting it, uh, from cor correcting it if you actually want, so you don't have to do this constantly. So, okay, let me just close the game, go, uh, get, go into the files that you're gonna need to change over here. Very simple, very. So what you're going to want to do is go into your documents folder my documents folder so for instance c users username over there documents my games outlaws that's the folder you're looking for and what you're looking for is this particular file game graphic settings cfg not settings uh, cfg config but graphic settings cfg and this con contains all your graphical settings you can change this as you want now what you're really interested in finding over here like you can change all kinds of things. I, you know, I I would like to disable the bloom. I've, I don't know. I've tried setting it to false. It didn't work. Maybe I should set it to low. I've tried disabling depth of field. It didn't work. So if anyone has any idea how to disable, you know, depth of field and disable the annoying bloom, I'd be very grateful for that. I'm sure a lot of other people would be as well. But what you're really looking for is streamer dedicated budget. You don't need to look for it. You just need to, you know go in, open it with WordPad, find budget. Now by default, this may, and, and the cause of the issue with regards to texture pop-in, is that this budget is set to 64, 64 RAM. So this is the limit more or less in terms of like the budget your GPU has to load in textures. There are various settings you can go for. The one that was recommended on Reddit was 4096 probably works like he set it to higher because he has a 4080 i have a 4070 ti i tried to set it to eight over 8000 didn't work quite as well was causing some issues so i lowered it to 4996 uh, works just fine textures load in as as they should you're not getting annoying pop-ins that's the solution it's that simple then you save this particular file I mean, I already have the setting that I need, but one of the things you can do over here, if uh, you want to ensure that this, uh, this file is not messed with, one of the things you can actually do is set it to read only. And this will prevent the game from altering the file. Should work without a problem. You might want to change permissions on the file as well, just to basically prevent outlaws as a game from changing the file and messing with the settings. So make sure you first configure the game, test the performance before really messing around with this file. Like once you're comfortable with the settings that you have in game, what works for you, then you come over here, set the uh, budget to whatever you want, whatever you need. There are obviously going to be some values on that. So like 64 to 128 would probably in itself, like just doubling it would make a difference. There's other values, right, uh, available there. Now, before I end this, that's just that simple. There are other things I do want to talk. So back into the game, 
the texture issue should be resolved. You might still encounter it, but just check your config um, Ready. folder over there. It might uh, you might have to change it again if you haven't set it to read only, or you might have messed up that particular aspect. But there are still other problems. For instance, my GPU right now is blowing like the, like a jet engine, and I have never had this situation on any other game. Like literally, no other game has caused this. Not Cyberpunk, not Hogwarts Legacy, or anything like that. You know those those performance uh, those games that require a lot of performance for whatever reason. And this is a pretty big problem, and I really hope Ubisoft fixes it, or maybe NVIDIA with a driver update, because it is a problem. This game has a near constant 100% GPU utilization. What in the hell is up with that? Is it just me? Are other people getting it? Let me know like what that situation is for you. And if you have any solutions, because that would be very welcome. Like... It's crazy, you start the game and in the main menu, you have 100% GPU utilization. So it's not really a question like, oh, the game is really using all that performance. No, it's not. It's just like there's some really questionable coding going on with that. Another problem, yeah, it would be great to remove this really weird depth of field or blur effect that uh, Kay has around her when you're playing as her. Because, like, yeah, it's, it's actually noticeable. I understand the developers may want you to focus on different other things, but it's like... I've never met, I've never played a single video game where I could say, yeah, Depth of Field is great. And there's a huge amount of games these days that actually do launch with Depth of Field. And also, yeah, there's a bloom effect, especially in the menus uh, over here. Like, there, there's, um, there's this annoying glow, if you will. I'm pretty sure that's a bloom, like, based on what's in the config full, uh, file. Tried to disable it, didn't work. Still. Like, the game certainly can look nice, it's just like these weird-ass effects and the developers who have made PC games in the past, pretty good ones, like, screwing up in a pretty major way. That's all I had to say. If you guys have other problems or ideas to fix the issues that I've mentioned, please let me know. Cosine signing out.